Yo, what up? This is D-Boy Jeremy, and today, class is in session. Today we are going over intermediate footwork technique. If you haven't checked out the basic footwork technique video, go back and do so now because you can't skip steps. Today, intermediate footwork is going to be broken down into a couple of categories, right? So we're going to work on speed or tempo, and the second, we're going to work on foundational combos. So when it comes to speed or tempo, today we're going to use CCs, the very foundational footwork step as an example and as a benchmark for our speed and tempo with footwork. So with speed and tempo, there are three tempos that we're gonna go through with CCs, right? One is normal beat, second is double time or double beat, and third is half beat, right? So we're using CCs today, but I want you guys to use this for every single foundational footwork step that you guys have. It's very important to get full control of all of your footwork steps at these tempos, and when it comes to being at an intermediate level, if you are able to do all these foundational footwork steps on these three tempos with speed while maintaining your form, you certainly are on your way to an advanced level. So let's break down normal tempo for CCs first. From a home position, if we use a normal eight count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can apply this to any song, right? The eight count, and normal beat when it comes to CCs, every count is going to be a movement, right? So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So if I display a full out with this count, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So apply this to any song, right? This normal beat, count it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's normal beat. Now let's go to double time or double beat. That's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. This is where we dial up the speed while still trying to maintain that form. So when it comes to CCs, one and two and three and four, again, every single count is a movement, but essentially on each side, one, two. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. That is double time. So this is obviously going at full force with the tempo of the song while still trying to maintain that form. We still have one more speed left. That's half speed, right? So this is slowing everything down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Throughout, throughout this whole eight count, we're only completing two seats. So it goes five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Right? Again, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. So, Whenever you get complete control, we're using CCs as an example now, but you could do it with six step, two step, seven step, whatever it may be. Once you get comfortable with each individual speed, now you can apply this to your freestyle. You can apply this to your round whenever you're dancing to a song. You shouldn't dance to the same tempo the entire song. You shouldn't be on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You shouldn't be on that same tempo the whole time. Dancing and musicality comes within you being able to go in and out of these tempos, maintaining form, and because we're talking about footwork today, right? You being able to display that sharp technique and footwork form every time you go in and out of these patterns and these tempos, right? So the challenge for speed in particular, I want you guys to drill these three tempos back to back. So it's gonna look like this. Normal, double, half. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. That whole routine 
going from normal double half. That will really drill, not only is it a good stamina building and workout routine, but this is you taking a particular foundational step and seeing if you are able to have complete control tempo and speed wise with that foundational step.